G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Roots Ventures. This one we're going to be talking about the King's 12 volt control box. We just installed this one about a couple weeks ago, probably a month ago by now. And it's really helped our um, power system in our canopy. So basically we wired it up ourselves, we uh, installed it ourselves, we built a little board behind it to screw onto the canopy. And it's just a lot easier to um, charge things up. So we still got the battery box down here where the battery sits in. They still got their cigarette plugs, their USB plugs. Um, but now that I've got this in the back of the canopy, I've got two free Anderson plugs. I've got two, uh, three cigarette plugs and a USB plug and a bunch of switches. So that opens up heaps of um, different options to run any power supplies in the back of the canopy. E.g. this one here, the, the Anderson plugs, we're thinking about having a pull-out pantry from King's with the travel buddy involved, which will give us so much more storage um, options to cook in the travel buddy as we're traveling around, cook the party pies up, sausage rolls for the kids, so that kind of stuff. So having this in the back of your car, guys, is a massive game changer. I know there's heaps of other control boxes out there. You know, you can't beat the price of Kings. So far, I haven't had any dramas with it. So by having these two free Anderson plugs, you can basically run heaps of stuff. So if you had to run a second uh, set of uh, solar blanket, maybe, on top of the canopy, you can just plug it in there and it still would pump in um, uh, solar, even though you've got your hardcore solar attachment down here um, up on the roof. So again, handy eyes you got another anderson plug there so if you wanted to chuck in a 12 volt travel buddy that is the best key about this uh the big king's control box so also you got these um cigarette plugs not too many uh power su supplies um have any more cigarette plugs but you never know you can always get them cut to uh soup what you have in your in your canopy and what you're running you got uh, one two three four five switches here um, they're gonna be handy so idea is to have another camp light up the top here uh, run that into here and then when we're camping and it gets dark uh, even though I've got a couple of switches to uh, help me with the boat at night all you have to do is switch that on and uh, the light will come on we're thinking about running couple of other LED lights when we get our new awning again we're gonna try and have the power supplies for switches and that kind of stuff just to make it easier when you go out camping but since I've had this control box this has changed the way we uh, camp um, charge up our, our phones our GoPros um, drones all that kind of stuff it, it's just a game changer and we can't wait to uh, see what we can do with it. So I have heard that the fuses do go in these a fair bit. We've had it for a month. I know it's early, but we haven't had anyone go yet. The only thing I would say is maybe King should supply a couple of uh, free ones with the kit, just in case they do go. You can go to Auto One, super cheap, all that kind of stuff, and buy a big massive pack in a way. So it's not a big drama, but um, yeah. King needs to help out everyone to try and sell their products and I think that will be another good way. I do have a 25 amp DC DC charger as well, connected to this. Um, <clears throat> my battery isn't hooked up to the car yet, but I will get it done. Um, so this is only just reading the solar, it's not charging um, the battery through the uh, car battery as I'm driving, which one day I will at the moment. I'm pump, pumping heap of solar from the um, hard core solar panel I've got now. But um, we're going to do so much more in the, on this board here. We're going to chuck in a couple inverters um, just to give our um, power supplier um, in this canopy next to the next level. So stay tuned for that, guys. Really keen about this. It wasn't hard, wasn't too hard to install. Um, just got to read the instructions, make sure you wire the right way, otherwise you'll fry the control box um, and if your battery, if you do wire it up wrong. So just keep an eye out for that. It was pretty simple, I had a 
I had a free few friends help me out. And uh, she's pretty solid, so she's not gonna go anywhere. We've been on corrugations and um, off-road and she hasn't really fallen off yet. So it's a key, it's a bonus. Really happy with it, guys. For the price, you can't go wrong. Keep an eye out for the King's um, special. This only cost me $109 with a free six meter extension cable, which I don't use anyway. Make sure you check their website out. They've always got specials going. Um, you can get uh, like a little bundle pack down again as well. And I recommend that uh, any kind of 12 volt box system to uh, just give your 12 volt system in your car that next level in your, um, in your setup. So cheers guys. And I hope you enjoyed that one. If you have any comments or tips or anything like that, vault King's box, just tuck in the comment, guys. We are keen to help you guys out. Or if you've got any tips for us, let us know in the comments. Until then, guys, we'll see you on the tracks on our next adventure. Cheers.